Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Learn Mac app. And in this video, we're gonna be learning about how to create an ad note scene in our series. So let's dive into the scene. So this is the screen or scene that we are going to build. Basically, it is a view controller and it is embedded on a navigation controller because it has a tile. And for the input method, we're going to use a text field and a text view and also we are going to display the view controller using a model segue from bottom to top and we are going to add an action the cancel and add action using ui bar button items so let's get started go back to the xcode and go to the main dot storyboard and we can see the last things that we designed here and let's try to add another view controller I'm going to search on the view controller and add a new view controller right there. I'm going to search on text field and I'm going to add the text field right there, put it nicely. I'm going to do a little bit fast right here by putting the constraint. And I'm going to make the height is equal to 50. Then I'm going to make a divider because we have this very thin line there. Let's try to add a UI view. Putting the right here, I'm going to design a little bit fast right here. So we have a divider there, but we can see because we don't really have the color. So make sure you click this or you click your new view and let's rename it as a separator view in here and let's try to recolor the view right so we already have a separator view let's try to add the text view and I'm going to place the constraint right there And I'm going to do a little bit designing right here by clicking this text field and go to this button. Go to this tab, Interpret Inspector, and I'm going to put a placeholder title. And here, since we don't have the placeholder, just delete this. Okay, so we already have the design right here. If you want to run, we can click this view controller and go to this tab right here go to the attribute inspector and select this is initial view controller let's try to run and let's see what we got great so we already have this text field and text view right there and i want to do a little bit design right here by dismissing the border Let's go back to our view controller and click the UI text field and I'm going to change the style of the border style of the text field by none and I'm going to make it has a title by clicking this view controller and go to the editor embed in a navigation controller and let's give a title let's say add note let's fill and run cool we can see our new design right there. Okay, so the next thing is we want to add a connection from this view controller to this view controller right here or the navigation controller. So we can add a connection by creating the button, right? So let's try to add a button. And the button is the bar button item because we want to add a button for the navigation bar. So let's try to add a button and let's select the button itself and change the system item to add system item and you'll see it will give us a nice plus button right there and the next thing is we want to connect this plus button item to this navigation controller so it can respond our click by holding control click and drag to the navigation controller and let's choose show segue right here you have a connection which is show the navigation controller 
let's move this initial view controller to this view controller so we can see from the start let's build and run right so we already have a pause button and if we press that it is working so the next thing is we want to add a cancel button right here and the done button right there so let's go back to the xcode and let's try to do the same to this view controller right here let's try to add our button item for the both cancel and done button I'm going to change this to the cancel and this one to the done to make it bold we can select this and go to the style and change to the done style let's put it on right here if we click plus button right there we can see our bar button item the cancel button and the done button the next thing is we want to create a can cancel the next thing is we want to create a cancel and add button so let's try to add those two button by clicking this plus button right here and let's do the same using bar button item let's try to add two button cancel and done button then let's try to rename the button itself by using the style here we're going to create a system item cancel button and here we're going to create a done system item button let's change the style then let's build and run and we can see our cancel and done button right there next we want to add the functionality when we cancel and done button it will dismiss the screen so let's go back to the xcode let's create a view controller for the add node scene i'm going to name it as an add node view controller and let's try to connect the storyboard itself to the add node view controller by clicking this and go to the identity inspector and let's type add node view controller here we want to connect those label and button right so let's connect all of them by clicking this view controller and let's click an option add node view controller and let's control drag the cancel and done button I'm going to delete unused command right here since we don't use this the next thing is when we tap done button we want to get the title and the content text so we need to connect the title and the content view to the view controller then let's go to the add node view controller so we want to dismiss the view controller when we tap the cancel button right so we want to call the dismiss and with animation with no completion when we click run we can dismiss this right the next thing is we want to dismiss the view controller when we tap the done button but before we dismiss it we want to grab the text from the title text field and also the content text view so let's grab the text from the title text view. Title of view dot text that text is equal to title view dot text. But here, if we type text here, it is it returns a string optional. What we want is the actual string. So we can use a card let statement. And if we don't get the text, just return. I'm going to do the same with the content text view. So let's print the text and the content before we dismiss it. Let's try to run. And here we can see our done button working. If we click done button, it will dismiss without any print. 
statement and if we type a title with uh, some content here and hit done we have a title and content Another thing that we can improve here is by checking the text is equal to empty string or not because in here if we are not typing anything and if we click done it will dismiss. Actually the code here is both executed because the text is not nil but the text itself is an empty string so we need to check if it is not an empty string right. We can see behind the scene by clicking this 29 it will give a breakpoint and let's try to run. And if we don't type anything, what just hitting done, it will go right here. So it is working. And if you see right here, the text and content is empty string. We don't want this executed because we don't want this also be executed when the string is empty. So what we want to do is by checking if the text is equal to an empty string or the content itself is also equal to an empty string. So if it is right here, just return. And if it is true, just return and skip the whole thing right here. Let's run. Let's see if it is working or not. So I'm not going to type anything. And if we click done, it's not doing anything. And if we type something, and if we are having a content right here, by clicking done, it is working. Perfect. So in this video, we already learned about how to use text field and text view and grab the text from both how to use a bar button item and also how to use a model segue so see you in the next video